Hey Busters, welcome back to another Digimon card game video. So today, we'll be opening up the, uh, I guess the starter set 13, um, Ragna Lordmon. So yeah, here it is. Um, for those who do watch my Digimon videos, I'm sorry, this came, is a bit late. Um, I think this one came about three weeks ago, almost two, three weeks ago. So yeah, just haven't really gotten around to getting to it. So, but yeah, uh, luckily I managed to pick it up for only a thousand yen uh this is supposed to retail for about 16 so um for the two starter decks or the new two starter decks uh 13 and 12 the other one is jessmon which is a lot more popular so ragnar lord mon um, because of the deck style isn't as popular so the price went down quite fast so but yeah so here he is uh this one unlike the uh, original six which was just pretty much much smaller the original uh, just the size of the cards this one is more aligned with the um the last four the duke mon all fours vidramon as well as the um Pyildramon and mastimon decks so these are more like um constructed decks even though they are start decks so but more with a theme whereas the other ones were just color based so here's the back um not much to it as always it just tells you what's within the set which is just a pre-constructed deck of 54 cards um 50 main and four the digitamas two memory special memory gauges uh the plastic ones one uh i guess uh double-sided play sheet or play mat three index cards kind of just rule uh, rulings explanations as well as re uh six reprinted tamer cards in the traditional uh special foil textured foil format so there we go so uh usually you already have a tape here but i just took it off just to save a bit of time and it's empty as always, so that's that. Let's just leave this here. So, uh, so the packaging is exactly the same as the previous four, uh, all the pre constructed ones. So, you get a plastic here, you get the deck here. So, you get the deck and of oh, 50, as well as the textured uh, promo cards. Not really promo, but um, just uh, the bonus cards plastic and you get the play sheet so if it's similar to all the other ones i do like how they kind of just put it like a separate layer just to make sure it's not bent or safe because the art you know is one of the selling points of the card game for a lot of people you should have i think um generally they have the main boss on one side so it should be ragnarok on one side as well as uh Drandramon and brie waymon on the other one so sorry busters because my screen's so small, so it's really nice. So it's on one side, meaning what's on the other side? A nice close-up of him in kind of like a red shaded glow. Really nice. And on the back should be, yep. Okay, so they did it this way with a line across. So you got Randomon and Brie Waymon. I like this one because it gives, finally gives a picture of his face and so that's how his face is i always thought yeah kind of like because uh the pictures of him were always far away i always thought it was kind of like teeth so okay so it's, a, it's like a mouth guard okay hmm. so really nice but i think most people probably like using uh the ragnar style more so. So very nice um for those wondering um the english version although it's not out yet for a monkey for a, quite a while um the pyildramon and pyildramon uh, sorry pyildramon and pyildramon what is it the ancient dragons and the uh different dimension commander or tactician um from what i heard from online like they did not include this which is strange so um those hoping to get one of these um, in the English set, you m it might not be included, so I just want to throw that out there. Which is really strange that they don't include that. But I could be wrong, so. So let's just start off with this. So it is held by a nice plastic, and it's got some really nice foiling. So these are, from what I call it, uh, you get one of each color. Oh, okay, so they're all different. So the re reason I was really hoping like they did this for all super rares um, in the normal booster set was just because the foiling is really nice. Each one is individually textured or like designed. So this one is the Tai Chi 
from um, what is it Gaia Red so it's just a generic two cost plus 1000 DP but as you can see it's got like these digital um, I'm not sure what the like computer co uh, components are called like the wiring stuff and even the like the box here is nice and textured and you can see like just the character part only is gloss so it's really nice really like that so and the cool thing is this time uh, they did it differently for each one so as you can see Daisuke here it's got like the shattered glass style and this is a highly sought after rare so for those playing um, the English version where sets one two and three are were all combined making it even a lot harder to get this is going to be a godsend for them assuming it's uh, included so that's really good um it's the four cost one which gives you a memory setter which sets you at three every turn and allows you to add a blue and or and green card after revealing the top three so great searcher you know um each the normal rare was going for about like 800 yen a piece <clears throat> but then as soon as this they announced that this was included in this the price of this like dropped by half so um i really do like how the um the game here they kind of get like really popular cards and just reprints them in like i guess like a special foiling to just help reduce the cost and just really allows like some staple cards to be gra grabbed for cheaper <clears throat> sorry busters but yeah Next is the Takeru, which gives a plus 2,000 secure DP secure to your security. Also from the Yell um, Heaven starter set. This one's got like nice sparkles. Next we got the similar to this one uh, from the BTS3, BT3, the Kenichi Joji. So this one's less of the shattered one and more of like a prism -y kind of. It's just slightly different. So this is also a memory setter, sets you at three, and also gives you one memory. If you tap in one, one of your green Digimon um, destroys an opponent in battle. Next, we got the black Koichi, uh, what's it, uh, Izumi Koshiro, or Izzy. So he's also got like some nice design here. Also a memory setter, and this one lets you reveal three, and if all of them are black, you may, uh, I'm sorry, first you reveal three, rearrange them in any order, and then if they're all black cards, doesn't have to be Digimon, could be just black mem uh, option cards too, um, you will, then you will gain plus one memory. So this um, Koshiro and uh, the third set um, Taichi are the only black memory setters. So, and as that one only gives you plus 1000 DP on your opponent's turn, many people tend to run this just because there's a chance you get played for cheaper. So, and finally, uh, purple starter mat or Ishida Yamato so all of them have a different textured um, foiling which is nice uh, this is the one where you two cost uh, rest this in order to get plus one memory when one of your Digimon is destroyed on your turn really nice I think so oops let's maybe move this a little bit more this way so they're more on camera sorry busters about this but yeah really nice so like honestly these this alone these promos alone um help make up for some of the a lot of the costs so on to the main set so we get the plastic covering so let's see at the back start off i really like these memory gauges so here are the three index cards just explaining the rules um, this should be up, maybe updated to include Jogris. I'm assuming since um, this the, this deck is has Jogris in it. But no, actually no. These are just goes over the basic rules, um, game mechanics. They just tell you to just go to the website. So basic uh, over um, game flow. Ooh, this feels a bit thicker than normal though for the cardboard stock. The memory gauges you get Durandamon and Bree Waymon. Interesting. Okay. I was really hoping for Ragna Lordmon, really, but hmm, that is kind of disappointing. I was definitely hoping for Ragna Lordmon because so that, I really like that pose. So as always, these are nice plastic memory gauges. You know, nice to add to your collection. So really nice. Let's put these here. And going over the main deck, starting with the Digitamas, you get four of the Saktoma, 
which has the inherited of on your turn once per oops, sorry let me focus it if you guys can read uh just once per turn uh once per turn on your turn when a legend uh digimon with special feature legend arm is played through an effect plus one memory which is what this deck is all about it's pretty much a gacha game system which is why i prefer this one over jesmon you get four of these you get zubamon uh four copies of zubamon so this zubamon is a three three 1000 dp it evolves from a red or black with the pretty fun effect of when you play this um one of your digimons with special feature legend arms or is a black digimon uh when you play this just so you play for three and then stash this under a black digimon or a digimon with special feature legend arms or you can if you do so then you open the top deck of your card and if that card has a special feature legend arms and has a play cost of under seven or under play it onto the car, uh, field for free so it's pretty much like green gacha except for evolving it's just straight up playing it if it's a legend arms seven or under which is goes with this which is plus three which makes it basically a two coster and it has the inherited of or rather it gives whatever in order to activate its effect it instantly gives the digimon it stashes itself under the effect of when you attack while this digimon has the special feature legend arms or is a black digimon destroy an opponent digimon with 3000 dp or less so a nice level three remover Busters. Maybe I'm just going to angle the camera down a bit so you guys can see stuff a bit better. So, yeah, uh, I forgot to mention, but um, the starter decks, I think all of them so far, come with um, 16 different cards. So, next up, we got Zubai Yegumon, which is a five play cost, cost two to evolve from red or black, 4000 DP, with a similar effect of when you play it for its five cost. Like once again, if this Digimon has special feature legend arms in its name, a uh, special feature in its, its special feature, or is a black Digimon, I'm sorry, um, when you play this, put this underneath a black Digimon or a Digimon with special feature legend arms, and if you do so, destroy one opponent Digimon with 5,000 DP or less. So you, as long as you have, if you're, as long as you're running a legend arms deck you will, and you have something on the field it's basically a five coster to destroy an op uh, opponent with 5000 dp or less and it gives the inherited of again if while it's a legend ar has to be ah, sorry while it has special features legend arm or is black digimon destroy an opponent digimon with 3000 dp or less which is the same as the zubai mode. so this one you get four of these Next, you get Duramon. Duramon is the limit of seven for the deck. So it's a seven cost, cost three to evolve from red or black, 7,000 TP. And it has the effect of on your turn, if this Digimon would do you evolve into a Digimon with special feature legend arms or a black Digimon, uh, reduce the evolution cost by one, which is really good, I guess, as if you're running a black deck, this could you could just splash this in as it can evolve from black and it lets you evolve into your level sixes for one less which is quite good um, it has the inherited of at the end of your turn this digimon and a digimon uh this digimon and another digimon you control on the field may jogress into a digimon uh cost free from your hand so basically it's just jog uh, at the end of your turn uh, once you go over cost, you can still Jogress for free. I'm sorry, not for free. Uh, you may pay the cost to Jogress, but currently there's nothing that costs anything to Jogress. So, but in the future, they probably will. So that's why they're just keeping it that way. Unfortunately, you only get two of these, so which is a shame. As most people would want, definitely want a play set of that. Next, we have our first one of the two super rares. I'm just put these down. Durandamon. So this one's got some nice foiling here. Ooh, look at that. It's got some sort of like, I don't know, is it, is it like lightning or like, what is it? Kind of like viney, like viney growth vine. It looks nice. Really like the foiling on these. So it's a real shame that like only starter deck super rares have these to make it a bit special. Um, currently secret rares are the one that gets 
Secret Rares and um, Parallel Art are the only one that gets this treatment from normal sets. So it's 11 3 3 11 with the effect of on your turn once per turn. Um, when one of your Digimon's uh, evolution sources it is increased through an effect. Wait, no, not effect. When it is, when it just increases through any means, although it generally has pretty much effect, this Digimon gains plus 3,000 TP, bumping it to 14,000, and security attack plus one until the end of tur your turn. Oh, and sorry, it, is, it specifically states effect. So, uh, when, oh, sorry, when this Digimon's evolution sources increases through your own effect, it gains plus 3,000 TP and security attack plus one during their turn. And when you attack, reveal the top three cards of your deck and then choose a, from there, choose a card with special feature Legend Arms that has a play cost of seven or less and play it onto the field cost free and then return the uh, remaining cards under your deck in any order, yes. So basically, you're supposed to attack, reveal three as it's a Legend Arms deck, um, unless you hit a Tamer or Option card. Play it, if it, or you know, seven cost or less, play it for free, and all these cards generally, for the most part, will stash itself underneath, and you get your buff. And it has the inherited of, when you go into Ragnalord Mon, um, on your turn, while this Digimon has Ragnalord Mon in its name, or, I'm sorry, not in its name, while this Digimon is called Ragnar Lordmon, this Digimon does not activate any security effects of checked option cards. So basically BT1 um, War Greymon option jamming or a delicate plan built in. So there's that. And next we get two copies of Ragnar Lordmon, the ace monster in this deck. Really like the art. So this one's got the similar shattered at the back, but then it's mostly covered by the art. Although I do like how the lightning here is also just because it's not part of the art itself, they left it, you can see it's left like un, I don't know, glossed. So really nice. Along with the, uh, this, it's almost like it's three layers, textured, textured foiling in the back, the um, Digimon itself, and then like a third layer on top. Really love this. So it's a 1515 that costs six to evolve into with the alternate evolution um, condition of Jogris of one level, uh, one red level six and one red level black. I'm sorry, one level six black for zero. And when you do so, uh, you just put the red at the top and the black ones on the bottom. And then you put play this onto the fuel in an active position as this is not technically even. So just for those wondering, um, if say one of your Digimon was rested and you Jogress into it as this was not technically on the field and you're playing it from your hand. Um, the evolution, the, the rested or suspended Digimon do not technically become uh, unsuspended. So you don't get any unsuspended uh, procs specifically for like Pyodramon or Dex and stuff. So it's got the effect of upon evolution, Shingeki or I think Blitz. Uh, blitz or rush I think it's called yeah blood blitz Sorry, it should be blitz so pretty much if you just pay six you can blitz or if you go over cost and jogress you can still blitz and if this Digimon was evolved through jogress uh, for every four evolution sources underneath this Digimon um, destroy an opponent destroy one opponent Digimon with a play cost of 20 or less and trash the top one card of their security in other words um, if you have four underneath, you destroy one, any one opponent Digimon as there are, there's nothing that has a play cost of 20 or over currently, as well as trashing one. If you somehow manage to get eight, you trash two, destroy two and trash two. And that's before Shingeki. So a uh, real good combo. I'm, uh, the reason I bought this deck that I wanted is the new Baihumon from set nine, um, which is um, for every two active uh, cards your opponent con uh, controls, you trash one security they have. So my my game plan is pretty much have a memory setter, evolve into buy Human because uh, for every one active card your opponent has, it gets plus one, you get plus one memory, dropping it to get its uh, end of turn effect. It drops it to a three coster. Then you hard play 
a red 10, uh, 10 cost vanilla. So by Human's effect will help you trash one. Then you Jogress into this and you trash another one. And then you just go straight into a blitz, which hits for three. So in other words, if your opponent is down to um, two security, this will instantly let you win no matter what, because you don't have to attack. By Human will just trash one. This will help you destroy uh, blockers and trash and then Shingeki, unless of course they're running yellow and they have something which recovers upon destruction. So, but that combo will just ignore security. So that's kind of the gimmicky deck I want to play, which sounds really fun. I already have most of the cards too. And it also the effect of uh, on either player's turn, once per turn, uh, when you or your opponent loses sec uh, security is decreased, this Digimon becomes active. So pretty much Shingeki and then as soon as it happens, it becomes active, so allowing you to hit another an, another hit, and if you get block or another effect. So that's that. Let's put this bad boy here. And that's the red side going for the black side. You get four copies of vanilla Kotemon, a 203, so just a normal drop. Uh, and you get four copies of Chikurimon with the effect of uh, 030 with the effect of on either player's turn. Both players may not uh, reduce your their pl Digimon's play cost. It doesn't specifically say Digimon, but it just says Tojo cost or play cost. So if at any point in the game where they suddenly have maybe like option cards that have a play cost and turn it, so it does, it pretty much prevents uh, reduction. Next, you get four copies of uh, Rudomon, which is the black equivalent of the Zubamon. It's a 301, comes from black or red, and the exact same effect of when you play it for its three cost. Um, stash this underneath a Digimon that has legend special features, legend arms, or is a red Digimon. So the, the red goes with black and black goes with red. And then you open the top card of your deck. And if it is a or if it has special feature legend arms within and it costs seven or less play that cost uh, play that card onto the field cost free and it has the inherited of on your opponent's turn while this digimon has special feature legend arms or is a red digimon the game blocker so good for uh what is it um dual color black red decks like um it's good to give uh what's it black war greymon decks another blocker as the Gaiomon has a uh, Saikido as long and the Black Wargreymon also has an effect that unsuspends itself. For the level four, you got a vanilla Gradimon or Gladimon 414. So vanilla just to help you uh, speed up your evolutions and you get four of those. Uh oh, I was really hoping we get four of these. You should get at least four running four. I'm um, only four level fives in a deck is not really that good. Next, we got TL Ludamon. Tier Ludamon. It's a 5 2 4 from black or red and has the effect of when you play it for its 5 cost. Um, same as always, stash this under a Digimon with special feature legend arms or is a red Digimon. And if you do so until the end of your opponent's next turn, that Digimon gains reboot, restart, uh, Saikido. And it has the inherited of while this Digimon on your opponent's turn, while this Digimon has uh, legend arms in its. A special feature or is a red Digimon, it gains blocker, so exactly the same as Ludamon. Uh, just to uh, throw this out there, um, when you play it for its five cost, along with any of these, none of them are mandatory. It's an option, so you can play it for its five cost, and if you choose not to uh, stash it under for its effect, you don't have to. For those, next you get two. Oh, so that's where the other one. You only get two dual colored Nightmon, vanilla Nightmons. It's a 537. So, um, honestly, some people, uh, this is actually a decent card. Reason being, it's a dual colored and it's a five cost. Yes, it has a, uh, it has the expensive, um, evolution cost of three, which usually is reserved for Digimon with, um, effects or inherited. And this is vanilla. However, the good thing is it only has a five play cost, which is really cheap for level five, which helps you speed into your level six, as well as the um, the trade off is that it's a dual colored. So 
if you're running two colors, this will hit, help you get into anything. And what, as well as Black or Greymon, it helps you hit both uh, effects of uh, Devolve and Blitz. So you get two of those. So definitely don't discount this card. It is a lot better than it seems when comboed correctly. Next, you get good four copies of Raijiru Demon. So I wanted this for the Baihu Mon. It's a 737, uh, once again, from Black or Red. Oops, Black or Red Sources. And it has a pretty good effect of on your opponent's turn, this Digimon is not cannot be destroyed by your opponent's effects. So it's pretty much uh, only removable through um, DP reduction or bounce effects and will not be destroyed outside of battle. And it has the inherited of the same at the end of your turn. This Digimon and another Digimon you control on the field may Jogress together uh, af af with a Digimon in your hand. So we get four of those. It is a rare, so it is foiled. And then you get four copies of Brie Wagemon. It's an 11 4 4 12. So this one's pretty good too, actually, for a Legend Arms deck. Um, it's got the effect of once per turn on your turn. Um, when this Digimon's uh, evolution. No. Yes, when this Digimon's evolution sources increase through your own effect until the end of your opponent's next turn, this Digimon may not be destroyed, return to hand or deck, or the deck. So, in other words, um, if this Digimon's evolution sources increase through your own effect on your turn, um, it's pretty much immune from uh, being removed from the field outside of DP reduction and through battle. And it has the effect of upon evolution, reveal the top three cards of your deck. And then from there, add a Digimon with special feature legend arms with a play cost of seven or less onto the field or play it onto the field cost free and then return under the deck. So if you're lucky, you hit the level fours or fives slot it right under and it's got immunity until next turn pretty much and it has the inherited of on your opponent's turn while this digimon is regna lord mon um this digimon does is cannot be affected or not affected um yeah it's pretty much it cannot uh, be affected by the opponent's digimon's effect so in other words it's immune to digimon effect and can only be targeted by option cards so this one is like a pure defense type which is really cool that's a rare there. Next, you get two rare copies of, hmm, was it Direct Smasher? Direct Smasher. Oh, so I'm guessing he just directly swings his blade. So this is a seven cost option card. So really uh, a big boost for um, three Musketeer decks. And it has the effect of while this, while you control a Digimon with special feature Legend Arms, you may ignore the red option, um, the red, uh, requirement to play this option it has the main effect of um destroy one opponent digimon with the highest dp and affect uh security of activating it so yeah pretty good card i know uh it you know unfortunately it doesn't let you just choose anything so which is why it's not like gaia force it just specifically targets the top or the strongest dp if there's several choose one so good option card here and finally you get four copies that's good i kind of wanted four of these um you get the mujun kyodo which is unlikely alliance um, pretty much it's a four cost i do like the art it's pretty much um the legend arms and they're being surrounded by the crack team or the d brigade you know an unlikely alliance because i think they are rivals they are rivals and then they just fuse together. So it's got the main effect of, um, from your hand, a Digimon with special feature Legend Arms and a play cost of seven. You may play it onto the field cost free. In other words, it's four cost to play something that costs seven or a Legend Arms that's cost seven or less for only four. And then put this in the battle area because it has the delay effect. And then during your next turn, because you have to wait, if you were to activate this card's delay effect, open or reveal the top four cards of your deck and then in any order you'd like put them back on the top or the bottom of your deck um the rule the ruling already stated that you cannot put some on the top and some on the bottom specifically it's just first re put them in any order you like 
and then put those four cards back to either the top or bottom and not both. So yeah, so it's pretty much a good searcher card or just like, it's pretty much uh, like Koshiro. It just sets it up and if you got nothing, if you see you got nothing that you need, instantly just bottom them, which is really good considering you're already saving um, some memory because you would definitely play this to maximize the, um, the cost. And it has the security effect of, because it has a delay, um, it only gives you the main one, but because most security um, effects just say activate the main and there's two, it has to specifically just reiterate this one. So, it, so that's why it has a bunch of text. It has the security effect of, as it says, from your hand, play a Digimon with seven cost or less and special feature legend arms onto the field cost free. And then afterwards, uh, put this into the delay option. So unlike other, um, I guess a delay options. This one gives you the first effect and then it puts it onto the field. Whereas usually other delay effects, just like all the memory boost types, they just kind of leave them there because it's not a memory boost. It gives you the um, options to uh, the effects too, which is really nice. So in my Baihuman like uh, options uh, security scatter deck, um, definitely I would run this as I want to search out my buy humans and this one lets me cho cho see exactly what I need rearrange it and if they're all unneeded I just bottom them so yeah so there we have it Buster that's pretty much it for this set um, overall it's a pretty fun deck I mean I haven't uh, played it yet but I have uh, one of my friends who I played against last week um, he used it and it seemed pretty fun you know you drop it uh, definitely um, if you were to run this with the, all the other um, legend arm deck cards uh, definitely you would run the level threes because uh, all the level threes which would give you your 12 um, you would remove the vanillas here for the other ones but definitely um, because of how this deck is run um, you would definitely include more uh, less of the reds the booster set red ones, it just gives you security attack plus one. You definitely want the stashing options. However, for the uh, black, the devolve effect is pretty good as it'll help you get rid of some pesky Digimon. And the Ragnarormon both are fine, but although while this one is good, um, you can't discount the original Ragnarormon because it only costs three to evolve and it lets you stash one of these guys underneath, which instantly gives you a much better effect of option jamming or immunity to uh, well, opponent effect. So these are much better overall compared to um, the base set of the vanillas that gives, thing, that gives a pierce and blocker because you already got blocker here. So um, definitely this Breeway one is definitely better than the original one. Um, not not strictly, I mean, it just has a lot more effect and it costs, costs a bit more to evolve, but definitely worth the trade off. And this one too, so definitely you would keep use the run these level sixes. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, not much else to say about this. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this and made you guys. Uh, if you imported it, um, you should have gotten it by now. Although you know Corona uh, shipping delays, but hopefully this helped you. Um, you know, I guess look forward to even more. Or just um, and hopefully the um, the texturing is uh, answered any texturing or uh, card breakdowns that you guys were missing or you wanted to got you guys wanted to figure out because uh unfortunately unlike most places uh at least for me because i usually search in japanese i haven't it's most places don't really tell you like the deck breakdown like how many of each card so generally i just uh youtube other uh, japanese um, videos to find the breakdown so hopefully um if you were looking for that uh, hopefully this answered that question for you uh sorry you got busters for taking so long i rambled on a bit but you know and uh, if you guys checked in the beginning of the video and decided to skip straight to the back, um, thanks for checking, uh, skipping and checking out anyways. But yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed this and I answered any questions. And if there's anything you wanted to know more about or something I didn't go over, maybe I went over too fast or you want a clarification on some effects, uh, please let me know down in the comment section below and I will be sure to answer and get back to you on that. Anyways, thanks for watching. As always, Buster Coon here, off to find his boathouse.